first impressions? I love the Berg Street Cycleway, that was fantastic. And I actually don't mind the narrow road. Mm -hmm. um, I reckon they could do that all over Sydney. We didn't have the car doors opening on us as we did two weeks ago. Yeah. But it seemed quite manageable as long as you don't try and go too fast. And when you know that every now and then you've got to go up onto the footpath, you know, when you're approaching an intersection and then back out. Uh, I don't know, I just felt, felt it all pretty manageable. Um, the road surface is good enough. There's a couple of little access for water or whatever. Um, but I thought it was, uh, I yep. didn't mind it at all. Um, unless it was like really busy, I think I'd probably use the road during the week because I could go faster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was, it's a slow cyclist thing. But the orange poles, I thought, helped a lot because they would hopefully reduce the risk of someone opening a door into you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, well, you know, fingers crossed. Yeah, look, First impressions? Yeah, look, I, I thought it was quite quaint. Uh, just <laughs> just wide enough. Uh, wider is better, but it was it was good enough. And also, much better that uh, you're riding on the left-hand side of the car, so you don't have the car door opening if you're on the right-hand side. So. Yeah, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite acceptable. It's, it's, it's better than being stuck in a, in a driver's door lane, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. A good practical solution for a, a relatively narrow, quiet street. I didn't find the uh, challenge at all, but yeah, not high speed, um, but a good commuting uh, connection, I think. So, um, yeah, tick. It'll do? Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. When I first saw it, I thought, geez, they've made a great cycleway for children. <laughs> Skinny people. And, um, let's see. Anorexics. Um, yeah, when I saw the uh, cycleway being directed over the speed humps when it could go straight ahead, I thought, WTF. Yeah, um, that would have meant riding over the, the angled part of the speed bump, though. Yeah, they'd have to reconstruct it. Would they? Yeah. Well, you have to ride on some pretty bad canvas anyway, so it's, it's nowhere near as bad as some of the things we have to cycle over, so... Um, but, um, yeah, I, I would be concerned about doors flinging open. Uh, should, I think to make it safer in that respect, it should really be contra flow. Um, yeah, so yeah. At least you're looking into the into yeah, the windscreen. Someone flings their door open. Yeah, well, they, the occupants can see you coming, and if they still insist on opening their doors without checking if it's safe to do so, like the law says, mm, they're going to uh, cop a door. Yeah, the, the bike will <laughs> automatically close the door as soon as it hits it. Mm. Um, so um, yeah, I think maybe they put it on the wrong side of the road for that direction. I, I don't know how you'd uh, make it contra. You, you probably have to do a fair bit of, yeah. I mean, the whole idea of the pop-up is it's plastic, paint, a yeah. little bit of concrete, not a whole lot of re-engineering. I did notice on the by dies that we went down. Uh, one of the by dies we went down it did actually work that way. If someone did fling yeah. the door open, the bicycle, the, bottom of Burke Street. the bicycle would automatically shut it again as soon as it struck the door. Yeah. Yeah. No, we noticed that on the first tour. I thought that was a smart idea. Whether that was by accident or by design, who knows. Well, there you go. Five generally positive opinions about Dunning Avenue. The big change we noticed from a ride we did a week earlier was the installation of the vertical orange poles. They certainly made a big difference. The cycleway is quite different to most of the other cycleways we've ridden on, and it does take some getting used to. But it's not as bad as some people have made out, that's for sure.